Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, me and my best friend dannyphantom.exe.com slash net, we're going to be taking each other on our ideal dates. Say hello, Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get roses and I'm gonna <laughs> sprinkle rose petals all over my bed and I'm gonna bring them in and I'm gonna be watching the notebook and be like, oh wow, you caught me at such a vulnerable time. It'd be a shame if you took advantage of me. Fantastic, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, I think I already told you, right? Huh? That I wanted to try to take him on a picnic. Okay, to a park. Okay. That's okay. not the same idea, is it? No, absolutely the same. It is the That's same? That's exactly what Danny just said to me. No, no, it's not. No, it's not? Okay, good. Arnie, what are you looking for? That. Danny, close your eyes. Don't look at me, Danny. Don't look at me. You're gonna spoil the surprise. I can't look at. I can't look at the these. bride before the wedding. It's I'm taboo. I'm gonna go pay for these, and in the meantime, you guys go find your stuff. Okay. Captain, where the fuck are the flowers? They're on the. They're on the package. Okay. How are How are we supposed to carry them, Catherine? I will carry them, and they can be in a bag. In your tiny ass backpack. Let me show everyone your tiny ass. I'm doing my best. You are. I say we get him a ring. Welcome back to Danny ASMR. Today we are eating flowers. Hello. Hi there. You know. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. You're <laughs> they don't know it, but I have a in my ass. Everyone knows. No. I'm kidnapping Danny. I'm taking him to an undisclosed location. I've and actually assembled the Avengers for you. Yeah, I don't want the Avengers though. I want you, bruh. No, 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 no. The Avengers are better. Trust me. Like, you know, they're gonna have like a party set up for you and stuff. Who's your favorite? Am Avengers? I a Make a Wish kid? Be gone! <laughs> that works. <laughs> Let's fucking go. All right, turn around. Well, I set up. <laughs> shh, shh. I'm trying to catch one. <laughs> Thank you. He stood me up. That's the date. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It's too good to be true. You ditched me at the altar. Okay, all right, let me explain this. You have your drink, orange juice, and I peeped that last night you got a Milano's mint chocolate. I did. Cookies. I did. As a snack. I also got this just so we can share a snack. So sit down and partake. I will sit down and partake. Let's fucking go. All right, I'm gonna do three questions. Three romantic questions. Okay, ask me the three romantic questions. I'm ready. What are your make or breaks in a relationship? They need to be able to hold the conversation with me. Also, they need to be able to deal with me. I call it gate giving. I wanna share all my interests with everybody because I wanna talk about them with people. So they need to be willing to deal with that. Okay, fair, fair. My make or breaks in a relationship, I would say, I don't like the life of the party. No, you don't. I don't like someone who's gonna be in the middle of the dance floor with everyone. I know it sounds like a very specific scenario. I'm from Miami, so dancing is very different. When you, we go to these things and we dance, it's literally fucking jumping up and down. It's, it's very, it's again, it's just very much a perspective on where you are from, the culture you came from. We're gonna step the fuck up on right now. <laughs> They're approaching. <laughs> They're approaching. <laughs> what the fuck? They're surrounding us. <laughs> I would say that. I like someone who is or very positive because naturally I'm a very pessimistic person. You are. So you need someone to balance you out. If someone's really negative, it's probably not gonna work because we're just going to be like this void, this abyss mm -hmm. that sucks like That's all why you the and life I work because without, when I'm not with you, I'm pretty pessimistic. But then when I'm with you, I'm like, well, it's not that bad. <laughs> Another question. Would you say that you lean more towards dating someone who would be a homebody or someone who is outgoing and uh, let's go out kind of person? Uh, homebody, for sure. Homebody? I don't like going out a lot. I'm very much a hermit and I need someone who's okay with that, you know? Like, obviously, if like, like, hey, I wanna go out and do something, I'm like, oh yeah, of course, because like, I don't go out very often, so when I go out, usually it's for like, I'm either getting, I'm either getting like necessities or I'm doing like something important, you know? Leave you alone! Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna go out all the time, but if like someone who I care about or someone who's significant to me wants to do something that's like, hey, this would make me really happy, I wanna spend time together, I'm like, yes, of course, your thoughts and like, your thoughts and your needs matter to me. I wanna make sure you're getting what you need and what you want, because I care about you. 
you know? Yeah, I definitely lean towards home body too. I could go my whole life without going out. It's fun sometimes, but if I'm always going out, I'm gonna be unhappy as no, opposed exactly. to if I'm always staying I don't home. know how people can do that. It's like, oh my God, like every weekend, it's just like, let's go dancing, let's go clubbing. And I'm like, yeah, I've never how, been like that. bro? I've never been like that, yeah. Okay, last question, let me think, let me think, let me think. Describe what you were looking for in a partner. In three words, what would it be? Caring, intelligent, Understanding. I guess that kind of goes with caring though, but like, I feel like caring and understanding are different. Like you can care about something and still not understand it. That's just empathy though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if I'm going through something, it's like, like, listen, I might not completely understand, but I want you to explain it to me so I know what's going on so I can try and help, you know? And okay. maybe they won't, I mean, that's fine. I, 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 but the thing is, I just want them to try. That's the main thing. Get back in the fuck up here in my shop, bro. Get out of here. I would say for me, it would go like, Positive, witty. I'm like a very witty person, almost like witty sarcastic. Mm -hmm. And then for the last one, I would say caring because I feel like um, like it's hard for me to like be like super affectionate with people. So because of that, caring is perfect because if you're caring, it's like the affectionate thing. It feels nice to not have to ask for the affection and not get shit when you are constantly in grumpy mood and still getting affection. Cause like a lot of people, when someone gets grumpy, they don't give them affection. And it's like, no dude, that's when it matters. So yeah, I would say those three. Yo, yo, what the fuck, bro? Do you see that? He almost flew at me. And that's about it. Nice. So now we're gonna finish up our picnic and we're going to get ready to go back to Danny's date now. Also, everything here will be recycled. We are either going to give these to Goodwill or a homeless shelter maybe. Um, if not, then honestly, I might use them myself. <laughs> I might watch them use them myself because it's really cold in my hotel room. But all the trash was, like all the cardboard was recycled. Everything was either recycled or thrown away. Just to let you guys know, now let's do this. All right, let's go. So I had a wonderful day with Arnie in the park and now it's time for me to set up for our date. Fuck. This is gonna get messy. Where's a towel? I need a towel. Here. This is the towel. So he doesn't get his cum everywhere because my is gonna be in him. One, two, three. This is gonna take a while. And then I'll scatter the petals everywhere, but then leave the bulbs and stuff by themselves. I'm running out, I need to reload. Obviously we can't just have flowers, we need to have balloon animals. So I'm gonna make some balloon animals now. God, it smells so bad. <laughs> we are back at hotel. This is Danny's date destination. I'm actually rather curious because I'm just going to his hotel room where like my hotel room is two doors down from his. So I'm just walking across the hall. So I guess let's go. Hello there, beautiful. Come on in, baby. Is this real? I got us some balloons to play with. So, some balloons to play some with? Some balloons. Do you want a balloon? I would love a balloon. Here's a balloon. It's not used yet, so. How did you know I love the sensation of squeezing I was thinking we could just stay here and watch a movie. You wanna watch a movie? You wanna have No, I wanna watch a movie. I got you this. Thank you. Are they thornless? Yeah, they're thornless. Yeah. Wait a minute. I have to run a condom test. No, no, Annie. don't don't do that. I have no. to make sure it's. What, it's you don't all, trust we me. We have to safe. You don't trust me. We have to protect it. What? No, stop. I have. I I I take contraception. Stop. Oh fuck. Danny, what the fuck, Danny? <laughs> Guys, I didn't know there was a hole in it. <laughs> I didn't know it just happened right now. What the fuck? You oh, you got a camera too, huh? Yeah. What's that for? What kind of us? Oh, let's go. Now we're gonna go ahead and get in bed and enjoy this lovely date that Danny has provided us on this bed with rose petals and a TV that is off. You didn't put anything on the TV. No. <laughs> Tune in next week where we will announce that we are pregnant because we will have I love you guys. I'll see you next week for another video. Peace.